Hello, hello. Welcome to Inklings with Irina, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And today, the three things that most people miss when they get their crystals and they bring them home. If we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller and I'm an intuitive energy coach to executives and entrepreneurs, these visionaries around the world. And I've been doing this for over two decades, so I've collected a lot of stories and I wanna share one of those stories with you today. Now, this story is all about a wonderful, creative graphic designer. And this is the kind of gal who is very much into natural products. She even washes her face with coconut oil and makes her own hair products using essential oils. And she even, oh, wears those really cool bracelets, you know, with the crystals and the lava beads. You can place a few little essential oil drops on, smells so good through the day. And heck, she even bought sage for the first time and smudged her house last week. She got the sage at the Renaissance Fair. And she's having a blast with this. So one day on her ride to work, she's listening to the local radio station and the DJ started to talk about crystals. And the DJ expressed how she started to bring crystals to work to combat stress. She's bringing crystals into her home, placing them underneath her pillow so she'll sleep better. And this particular graphic designer who's listening is curious. She's intrigued. And working in a large ad agency, there's, you know, some interesting times. Things can get negative at moments and those bad vibes fill the air. So she does everything she can to bring positivity into the workplace. One of the things that she hadn't tried yet were crystals. So she thought, hmm, why not? So she got a couple crystals, went into the store, picked some out, you know, read the little card, drawn to colors, and she comes back to work and she's setting up these crystals and she's happy as can be. And a few days go by and she's wondering, hmm, why am I not getting the same effects and benefits that the DJ got? What's, what's going on here? What have I missed? And that's what I wanna talk about today because there are three very specific things that you'll benefit from when you bring home a crystal. So anytime that you go into a crystal shop, one of the things you'll notice is that naturally most people are drawn to touching, right? It's shiny, I wanna touch it, or ooh, it looks smooth, it looks rough, I love that color. They wanna pick it up, they wanna hold the crystal. They're just drawn to it. And once they're drawn to the crystal, the next thing that they do is maybe they'll read the little card that goes with it. What's this good for? And they say, okay, this is the one that I want. This is gonna help me stay calm, feel grounded, clear the bad vibes. Hello, Tammy, thanks for joining. As you guys jump on, give me a little hello, a little emoji to let me know that you're here. So you get your crystal and what I want you to take into account, the first thing that most people miss when they bring that crystal home is the fact that just like you were going around and touching all the crystals, so was everybody else. Now, what does that mean? That means that essentially that crystal has picked up all of those germs, right? So yeah, germs. <laughs> or that person's energy or vibes, whoever has touched it, has picked up and transferred a little bit of their energy. Just like, you know, during flu season, when you're touching doors and knobs out in public, you know, you're gonna wanna wash your hands when you get home. So that's the first thing you wanna do with your crystal is clear it. Not all crystals can be washed, by the way, <laughs> with water. Some can, but there's another way that you can clear the crystals. The most important thing is that when you get the crystal home, you wanna release any of those bad vibes or anybody else's good vibes, their energy out of the crystal. Very, very important. Now, oh, hey there, Renee, glad you could make it. Yes, Tammy, crystals are so much fun. Now, the next thing that most people miss when they bring that crystal home is once you've cleared the energy from it, everybody else's germs and vibes, is you wanna set an intention. Because if you have a dream and you just sit around wishing all day, maybe you make that vision board, but you don't do anything, you don't have any next steps to take, that dream, it's gonna be almost impossible for it to come into reality. Because even though miracles happen and the universe could drop your dream right in your lap without you 
doing anything. <laughs> you still have to accept it and receive it. Um, it's not as easy as just, you know, calling up the Instacart and having, you know, um, or like wishing for Instacart to deliver your groceries. You have to go on the app. You have to pick out the groceries. You have to pay. <laughs> and then somebody will deliver and you tip, right? So there's a lot of engagement. And you have to have a plan. You can't just be like, I want food. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a plan. So if you get a crystal and you don't set a plan or intention, it's not going to be as effective because here's the thing about crystals. One crystal has many different meanings and purposes like beautiful carnelian. That's coming up a lot for my clients right now. Carnelian can be used for creativity or it could be used for protection. If you have a carnelian sitting on your desk at work and you don't tell it or invite it to engage with you in a certain way, how's it gonna know how to help? It's like, oh, you want some creative help or do you want protection? Well, what do you need me to do here? Just tell me. <laughs> All right, and then finally, the third thing that most people miss when it comes to crystals is you have to turn it on which sounds so silly, right? It's like, turn it on. There's no on switch. It's a rock, Irina, come on. <laughs> but here's the thing. You have to activate it. You have to charge it. It's just like your phone. You could have your phone sitting on your desk all day, but if it's turned off, what good is that gonna do you? It's not gonna let you know when notifications come in that your friend is trying to call you to warn you about like um, something that's going on. You have to activate the crystals. You have to charge them. You have to turn them on. So if you've gotten crystals and you've wondered, why aren't these giving me the same results that other people are receiving? Why don't I feel more calm? Or why don't I feel less stressed? Why don't I feel protected? Why don't I feel gra What's going on? Well run it through the three filters. When that crystal comes home, you want to clear it, clear the energy out of it. The second thing with that crystal is set an intention. How does that crystal need to work and engage with you? And then finally, turn it on, activate it, charge it. And if this resonates with you, if you wanna know more, then click on the link above and continue the conversation with me because there's a whole wonderful treasure trove waiting for you out there. And I don't want anyone to miss out on the wonderful benefits of working and playing with crystals, AKA those rocks in your pockets. So thanks for joining Tammy and Renee. Thanks so much for hopping on live. Oh, I'm so glad that you've learned so much about the rocks from me and you love collect yeah you've loved collecting them your whole life and and people will discover that that they're naturally drawn to crystals collecting them so have a fabulous day and I'll catch you all on the flip side Mwah! bye guys